Hey everybody, this is Tristan from Survival World, and today's tutorial in our Survival Knot series is on the Clove Hitch, or sometimes called the Double Hitch. The Clove Hitch is one of the most widely used knots out there, but unlike some of the other knots in this series, it has some more specific uses, advantages, and disadvantages. The knot has several strong apparent advantages. It's super easy to tie. You can tie it multiple ways, and even with one hand, and you can tie the knot even when the other end is under load. Clove hitch also can be adjusted to be shorter or longer pretty easily just by tugging on an end and making sure your knot has a little bit of slack in it. You can pull out a little bit and boom, you have another couple inches on the other side. The disadvantages are pretty strong as well though. It tends to slip under inconsistent loads. So if I'm pulling on this side, you can see it gives a little bit of slack. Oh, even more on that side. So shifting weights from side to side on either rope aren't really the best for this knot. But if you're just getting constant tension from like one side of the knot, it's not going to give way very easily. You've seen the clove hitch in pretty much every movie ever. When someone's tying up a horse, they'll just make a quick clove hitch, chuck it on the horse, and leave their horse tied up. For camping and survival, though, they're great to make a quick shelter if a storm is coming in, lash your canoe to a dock for a quick minute, or to haul gear up into a tree. I mean, it's just not that important to spend time on a more secure knot. So let's dive into my two favorite methods of tying the clove hitch. So this is a slower method, but it can be easier to remember for some people. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wrap the rope around once, on the second time wrapping it around, we're going to wrap it over what we've already done here. And now you see this rope, the very first rope here. We're going to move it up to the left of this, and we're just going to push it through that loop we've already made. And that's the first method of tying the clove hitch. I'll do it again a little slower for you guys. So what we're going to do first is just drape the rope over, and we're going to wrap it around and go over that middle rope come up from the left side with it, and we're going to put it through that last loop around we just did, and then pull it tight on both ends, or one end if you want it to be longer one way than the other. So my favorite method of tying the clove hitch, which is way faster than that method I just showed you guys, might take a little more memorization though, is grabbing the rope on both sides, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a loop going in and over with your right side of the rope, and then we're gonna create a loop going in and under with our left side of the rope here. So we're grabbing it, we're twisting it in and under to create that. Then we can just grab our loop here, chuck it over anything we want to tie to, and boom, there you have it. I'll show you guys that again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab both sides. This side of the rope goes over and on top. This side of the rope goes to like the bottom and underneath like this. If I show you guys from a top view, you can see that pretty good. We got this one that's going from our right side under and in like this. Then we have our left side going under and in like that. They're just opposing directions and opposing angles. And we can just slide them over our post, and boom, we got a rock solid clove hitch. A really quick way to get a more secure clove hitch after you've tied it is just to do a simple half hitch knot. That'll keep it a lot more secure and keep it from shifting side to side as much. So that's how you tie the clove hitch. Make sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and check out our playlist. It's going to pop up right here with more tutorials on how to tie knots. Thanks for watching.